Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. We just got in the fuel assembly for this, and I think that's all it's going to need to get it back going, um, at least the last thing I know of. So let's get into that. Today we're going to replace the fuel pump assembly as a whole unit. That's what we're going to do in this video today, so stay tuned. Hey guys, has your ATV ever sounded like this? Maybe it's coming from the back of the ATV, a grinding noise. If that sounds like your ATV, it may be the fuel pump has gone bad or maybe the regulator or both of them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace that entire assembly as one whole unit. All right, so this is what your fuel pump assembly should look like. You've got the fuel pump there in the middle. You've got the regulator up there in the top. You've got a fuel filter down here on the bottom and then you have your float there to tell the fuel level. You also have the plug to plug it in. So that is what it looks like, and it should look similar to this. Different years have a little bit different styling in how they made these, but they're generally looking just about like this. You've got fuel pump, regulator, filter, plug, and your float right there. So this is what we're changing out today. I determined that the regulator's bad on this one, as well as the fuel pump, so you're gonna need to get down to the back of your ATV. If you haven't already, check out my video. I'll put a card up here on how to remove your fenders so you can get down to something looking like this. Once you get down here, you can see the fuel pump is located right on the gas tank, and it's got this metal ring here on top. We're gonna remove that. Now, one of the reasons I determined the other one was bad was this little spring up here in the regulator. I don't know if you can see it there very well. There was a little spring right up there in the regulator that was missing on the other one. Also, the plastic that was holding that spring was also a little bit beat up from whenever they replaced the fuel pump from the last time. I'm thinking that might have something to do with it. On these Arctic Cats from 08 even up to 2014, I believe, a lot of them have some bad fuel pumps in them. I don't know if they had just a bad batch of fuel pumps, but I've seen a lot of these ATVs with bad fuel pumps. So that's one of the first things I suspect on these ATVs. So it can get back running we just pop a new fuel pump in and we're usually good to go all right once you have everything disconnected you can pull this metal ring off you have to pull that off the plug and then your fuel assembly will just come right out of the tank work it out you've got that float in there and your fuel filter on the bottom to work out of the hole, so you just gotta move it around. So you might just let it drain. So our fuel filter is gonna be full of gas. But I got a bucket here, I'm gonna put it right in there. All right, now we can just slip our new one in. Again, you just have to work in your filter and your float here. So those are the two things you gotta work into the tank and then we have our float then you'll just line this back up to the same way you had the old pump on there you got your flow going out here and that will fit right in those slots there you can re-hook up your fuel line run your plug back over once you have your fuel pump in there, you're going to make sure you get your ring back through the power connection here. You run your fuel line, you can clip that back on, run your plug back over to that, and then line your ring up with the holes and you can screw that back in. These screws you're just screwing into plastic, so you just want to snug them down. They don't need to be super tight or you'll strip out your plastic. Okay, that is how to put in the fuel pump assembly. Now we've got that in. I stuck in a battery. We're going to see if this thing will start. Alright, 
I think we're pretty much done. Just need to adjust the idle a little bit. You can check out a card on how to do that. I'll leave it up there. All right, guys, that is how to change out the fuel pump for these Arctic Cats. It's really similar for most Arctic Cats out there. ATVs, UTVs, side by sides, all that stuff. So hope this video helped you out. Be sure to like and subscribe down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.